It's time for your dose of weekend property. Cue the music. <laughs> so adventurous. Now to a shocking consequence of high cost of the high cost of housing. <laughs> <laughs> It's housing. Uh, it's been revealed two thirds of parents across the country are putting their retirement on hold to help their children get into the property market. Children, housing, that's where housing came from. Housing. I did one of those things. Well, it's a new term. I think it's going yeah. to catch on, actually. Yeah. Homeloans.com.au found parents and grandparents are sacrificing luxuries like a new car to be guarantors on home loans. And for more, we are joined by Bryce Holdaway and Ben Kingsley from the Property Couch podcast. Now, Ben, I'm not talking to you in that scarf. So, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> The old bank of mum and dad, is it, is it often the only way millennials can get a foothold in the property market these days? Yeah, well you pointed out the prices are rising, but uh, it's also very difficult to save for a deposit. So if you want to buy a $600,000 house, they've got to come up with a 20% deposit, which is $120,000 before you put in uh, stamp duty and costs, which is just a monumental task for most people. So if they can borrow from mum and dad, it means that all they need to worry about is whether they can service the loan, because if mum and dad chip in some equity, they can just borrow the whole amount and get in sooner. Ben, I'm a Lions fan, so I'm a neutral when it comes to this grand final, so I'll ask the question to you. So, uh, are these just financial gifts towards a deposit, would you say? Pete, it's not always just a financial gift. So you can do a cash gift, um, and basically that's non-repayable, because if you do a gift which is going to be paid back, then the banks are going to assess that as a loan. But the other way we're talking about is the guarantee, which is security. So we're using the equity in the parent's property for the 25% that we need, and that's going to avoid lender's mortgage insurance, which can be you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars that you're saving your kids as well. Now, um, Bryce, something that we, we hear about quite often these days is, is parents and children buying a property together, but are there any dangers to be aware of when entering into such an arrangement? Well, the blind spots are really around making sure you've got an agreement because even though it starts out all cordial and, and friendly, you know, you can see a lot of people, um, a lot of relationships break down when it comes over money. So I'd have an agreement in place um, so that you, you know, it's expensive to get in and out. So you'd want to make sure that everyone's going into it with at least a medium term outlook. And if you, uh, maybe if you sold within the first five years, the other person buying out can maybe have the, uh, the option to pay the original purchase price. But the other blind spot is for the first home buyer, um, they might miss out on all of mm. the bonuses and incentives that come from yeah. being a first home buyer because you won't get those. Yeah, a bit of a trap there. Hey Ben, uh, if, if you do have some forward thinking parents, what, what are some of the things that they can do? Yeah, it's some really clever forward thinking parents. What they do is they, they think about university and, and they come and talk to us about buying an investment property now when their kids are say in, in primary school or early high school, thinking that they want to get their kids into that university. So they have it as an investment property for the period of time that the kids aren't at uni. And when the kids turn up to university, they've got two or three or four years there, they look after them in terms of housing them, and then obviously the kids go on and, and move on to other things and they turn it back into an investment property. You know what, I mean, I, I get parents delaying or even cancelling, you know, a holiday or buying a new car, but delaying your retirement or, or even worse, still dipping into your hard-earned savings, it's, it's pretty extreme, isn't it? Well, it's just a reality of the market. I mean, if, uh, you know, as I said before, just trying to save that deposit is near on impossible, even in a softening market, just to be able to, to save that size deposit is just a massive challenge. So mm. I, I kind of see it a bit like the Europeans and the Asians. You know, our country's starting to grow up. We're starting to get a lot more years in us. And those, those cultures tend to buy as a family and they, it's part of the planning that, uh, that they, will, they will help their kids get on the ladder. And I see Australians doing the same, where it just becomes a part of the norm now, given affordability, so that uh, so they can get on the, on, on the property ladder. Otherwise, they'll be forever uh, on the rent cycle. Right, Ben, hit us with it. What's your prediction today? Well, I'd love to say the pies, but I'm actually, you know, I think the Eagles have been a better team during the year. I think we've been better in the final. So, I, you know, I don't know, but I've got, to, I've got to back my team. Are let's you, hope, let's hope Collingwood are winning the, the whole game and West Coast win after you, the siren. Ben, by are you point. sitting on the fence with a Collingwood scarf? I know, I know but I'm being honest. I, I, I'd love us to win, but I actually think West Coast might get us just oh, in a tight oh, game. Gee, that's oh, not very... Psychology. Psychology. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. sort of Collingwood I'm, supporter. I'm a you? realist. Hey? I'm a realist. <laughs> well, that's in your Bryce, you're a Frio supporter, so, man, I mean, you can't go for West Coast. I'm going for Western Australia. I'm just going for Western Australia. That's as good as it gets. Yeah, tell Come you on what, pies. people, yeah. people don't like the pies. Who are you going for? Um, West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that earlier. I, no, no, I, I, don't like, I don't like 
lather of them. <laughs> no, no, okay. that's the color combo you're wearing. That's right. yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm black and white. Yeah, so you, can, this, you are. Yeah, you are. You I have noticed that all morning. Yeah, well spotted. You, you can support yeah, yeah, culture with black-eyed peas. Yeah, that's that's who I'm going for.